So this is Cappadocia. You know, a lot of people come to uh, Cappadocia because they want to see the hot air balloons and they want to ride on the hot air balloons. I ain't got that problem. <laughs> Your girl over here don't want to ride no hot air balloons. So I wanted to come for the biblical history that is here. Cappadocia as it's written in Acts and it's written in Peter. But these cave homes is the reason we came in the first place is because we wanted to see this in person. Well, and it is incredible in all these rocks around us because this is where the Christians um, hid. They wanted to hide from being persecuted for believing in Christ Jesus. So many still believe in him today. Thank the Lord because he's so good. We don't know nobody that's been tried Jesus and their life hasn't changed. So try them. Now, a bit of history. After the death of Jesus Christ, a lot of the apostles fled Jerusalem seeking refuge. Now, when they sought refuge, it was because the Jews were split. It was the Jews that crucified Christ. But, and this is a strong but, it was the Jews also that believed in Jesus Christ. And because of their belief going way back to Abraham and the faith that he had in God, the salvation that Jesus Christ left for the people was to the Jews first and then to the Gentiles. Now, because of the unbelief of some of the Jews, the Gentiles were then granted repentance unto life because God saw that they believed the beautiful and abundant grace and mercy of the Lord that is given if just one believes. Now, the Jewish apostles were being scattered abroad. Now, this is a biblical term, and scattered abroad means that the Jews were in numerous, various, countless places and lands. For instance, they were in Phrygia, Judea, Asia, Cappadocia, Rome, Cyrene, Libya, Egypt. One thing is for sure, though, when they did leave and they were scattered abroad, they took with them their faith. You never know where your faith in God is going to take you. So I promise I'll tell you guys all this history for a reason. If we go back, 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 back in the day, there was no television, no telephone, no radio. Everything was word of mouth, right? So again, the Jews were scattered abroad. Now, if you go to the book of Acts chapter 11, you had people like Stephen who traveled far. He went to places like Cyprus and Phoenix, and he ended up in a place called Antioch. This is where he was preaching the Lord Jesus in all these different places. Now, as he preached the Lord Jesus, he only preached to Jews because he wanted to make sure that the Jews knew that salvation was unto the Jew first. Now, he ended up coming across some men in Antioch that were from Cyprus and Cyrene. These men believed and they came to Antioch and they came and spake unto some Grecians. Now, Grecians are people who are Jewish by birth, but they were born in Greece and speak the Greek language. And the hand of the Lord was with them and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord all by word of mouth. This wonderful information got back to the church in Jerusalem, so they sent Barnabas to go as far as Antioch. Now Barnabas departed and first headed to Tarshish to find Saul, also known as Apostle Paul. Tarshish is where Paul was born. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. The two of them assembled themselves with the church down in Antioch and taught much people. And the, the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. So to add to that, did you know that there are 16 different Antiochs in the Bible? The Antioch that we have been talking about is Antioch of Cilicia, which originated in Syria. Then some crusaders came and stole part of the land from Syria, which included Antioch of Cilicia, which made Antioch of Cilicia a part of Turkey. A lot of times when something is stolen, it's only right to add a name change. So Antioch of Cilicia is now Antakya or Hatai. A great grip. These have the best grip. So we are going down <laughs> into the Red Valley in Cappadocia. <laughs> and my mom always nervously laughs. Mommy, 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 why are you uh, everything. I do. So I'm gonna turn the camera around so that we can see some of the Red Valley. It's absolutely beautiful. What we do know for sure about Cappadocia is on the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem, one of the devout Jewish men was indeed from Cappadocia because when they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues, he heard his Cappadocian language, which means that any Jews that were scattered abroad, they spoke the language from that specific region. He's on down, he's on down the road. Don't you carry nothing that might be a Just Ease on down, ease on down. Guys, wait. We 
was drawing. Are you okay? Why are you making that you? Are you okay? <laughs> I fell down. <laughs> it's like the bottom of my leg just slipped from under me. I mean, my whole entire leg slipped from under me. <laughs> That's what I get for wearing snow boots. But did nobody tell me, and I sure didn't get the memo that we were going to go hiking <laughs> through the Red Valley this day, but it was worth it. Everywhere that we go in Turkey, we make it a point to find something fresh and wonderful and see how they do it. And dried fruit is nothing short of amazing from mangoes to strawberries to co the coconut, y'all. <laughs> the coconut is so amazing. Dates you're going to find everywhere, figs and fig trees. Oh my goodness, their dried figs are incredible. Um, it's just amazing. Fresh fruit. This land is so fertile. I can't even... I can't even tell you guys how wonderful it is to eat in Turkey. Did I mention that my husband loves waffles? So he got all of us on these dessert waffle situations where they add fruit, they add like caramel or chocolate sauce, and then they add ice cream if you want it. Might I add, you guys, milk, dairy, cheese, sour cream, yogurt, all that stuff. I couldn't fool with it like that in America, but here in Turkey, it does not bother me at all. It's amazing. Cappadocia actually means land of beautiful horses. So if you guys get a chance and you come here, go through the hills and valleys and take the horse ride. It's about a two hour horse ride. And me and my husband did it. I was scared out of my mind, but we had such a great time. Whenever we come back to Cappadocia, we like to go to the Cave Hotel Taskanak Lar. That was the first hotel that we visited that was phenomenal, phenomenal service. And so we have to go visit our people, Razul and Muhammad and Aisha. That's Razul there. And you see Aisha right behind him. But they are such good people and phenomenal hospitality, the best service ever. So a while ago, a while ago uh, I made a video about Taskanak Lar and the hotel that we stayed in and the... The service is incredible and the breakfast is amazing. We've ordered from the restaurant but we only ordered the um, dessert. I think a Turkish breakfast literally has something for everybody, like everybody's palate. My husband loves olives. I don't like olives. <laughs> he kills the olives. I don't. The jam and the butter on top of the bread though, my thing and I will kill it. It's absolutely wonderful. We actually stayed somewhere else because things start to get extremely pricey when it's not just two people but six, but we came here for the breakfast. That's how wonderful it is. And for the wonderful view that Tascanaklar Cave Hotel has, <laughs> such a beautiful view. Um, this video, I have more to share, you guys. This is a to be continued. There's so much that I just did not add. The history is so in depth and so rich. The biblical history that is of Turkey, Cappadocia, uh, Antioch. So the next video will be more of the open air museums, the underground cities, the horseback riding, and the carpets. You know, in Cappadocia, they make all those beautiful handmade rugs and carpets. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Faith, and I am enjoying the rich history that God has left all around the world. And I love that people make travel videos, and we get to see and travel through other people sometimes. And then sometimes we get to learn the history, and we may want to go see it. So I hope that. This video has done that for you. God bless you all. Don't forget to share your gift with the world and use it for God's glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless y'all. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. We'll be together. Take me back where I belong. So, Rib, what did you think about your task for night vlog breakfast? I can't hear you. I'm videotaping you. It was good. Yeah? What did you like the most? Uh, the bread and the jam. So there's the bread and the butter and the jam. It's so good. I can't even. Something so simple, but it's so, so good. <laughs> If I could take you back to my 